Hey everybody and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at Stevie's FS22 production pack part one. Included in this production pack are eight placeable factories which I have all lined up here. They are all capable of producing various products. For example we have a silage fermenter, brass dryer, a TMR mixer, pig food mixer, manure mixer, solid fertilized factory, a seed factory, and a lime factory. All of these, if you walk up to the wrench, are going to give you the ability to turn on and off the spotlight. Let's go ahead and take a look at all these in the build mode. You go to production and then scroll on over. They are all $80,000 a piece. They're all fairly small and will freely rotate 360 degrees. Now, the way you see them placed here is approximately how close they can be before they start to interfere with each other, unless you turn on free place mode. If you enable free place mode, then you can place these much closer, as you have already seen from the thumbnail. Now let's go and take a look at our production screen and see what inputs and outputs all of these production facilities are capable of doing. We have the silage fermenter, which will take either grass or chaff and it will produce 500 liters of silage or one and 100 liters of digestate per cycle. But if you take a look at the grass recipe, it's going to run 96 cycles a month. So it is capable of producing a max of 48,000 liters of silage per month. Whereas if you look at the chaff input, well, it's going to run 1,440 cycles per month. So it is capable, if you can keep it fed, of producing 720,000 liters of silage per month. Now you will notice that the grass and chaff inputs max out at 60,000 liters. As far as the grass dryer goes, it will take 1,000 liters of grass and it will make 1,000 liters of hay. It has 96 cycles per month, so this can produce 96,000 liters of hay per month. And you'll see the grass has a max capacity of 100,000 or 120,000 liters. The TMR mixer has a recipe of 500 grass, 500 straw, and 500 silage to produce 1,500 liters of total mixed rations. It has a cycle of 24 cycles per month. So we are looking at 36,000 liters of TMR produced per month. Moving on to the pig food, and this is where it gets a little silly. First off, you'll see that all of the incoming materials have a max capacity of 60,000 liters. The recipe is 500 for wheat, 500 for soybeans, and 500 for sugar beets, we're gonna make 1500 liters of pig food. Now, this particular recipe is gonna be able to cycle 1440 times per month. So if you take 1440 times 1500, well, you get 2.1 million liters of pig food per month. So keeping this machine fed to actually produce that much pig food per month is gonna be a little interesting. Now, if we look at the second recipe, which I think is a bit more realistic, we have 500 units of barley, 500 units of corn, and 500 units of potatoes, which are going to produce 1,500 units of pig food again, but only 96 cycles per month. So this particular recipe will be able to generate 144,000 liters of pig food per month. The manure mixer will take 500 units of straw, 500 units of liquid manure and produce 1,000 units of solid manure, has 60,000 liter inputs for both straw and slurry, has 24 cycles per month, so this will be able to produce 24,000 liters of manure per month. Looking at the solid fertilizer production facility, we're going to take 30,000 liters of manure, 30,000 liters of liquid manure, and is going to produce 60,000 liters of solid manure. This is capable of producing up to 720,000 liters of solid fertilizer per month. Now, there is an alternate recipe that will substitute digestate for slurry. And again, you're going to get 
720,000 liters of silage, or not silage, solid fertilizer possible per month. Looking at the seed factory, we have three different recipes. They all require liquid fertilizer. And note, liquid fertilizer has a max capacity of 3,000 liters. So we can either put wheat, barley, or oat into this machine. And as long as we have 3,000 units of solid, or sorry, liquid fertilizer, we are going to be able to get 30,000 liters of seed. Now, again, this might be a little difficult to keep this thing up and running because it's going to require 3,000 units of liquid fertilizer per cycle, and it's capable of doing 12 cycles per month. So if you can keep it fed with liquid fertilizer, then you're going to be able to get 360,000 liters of seed possible out of this particular factory. And then finally, we take a look at our lime production where we have 30,000 liters of stone going in, 30,000 liters of stone coming out, 12 cycles per month, so a max potential of 360,000 liters of lime being produced per month if you can keep this factory fed with the stones. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and activate the production on all of these, and then I'm going to go ahead and fast forward one entire day and we'll see what kind of outputs we have generated over a period of 24 hours. Now, of course, note a lot of these production are capable of blowing through their max input rather quickly. So I expect that most of these will be emptied as far as inputs go before tomorrow. We've got some nice animations. We've got a fan blowing here on the grass dryer. We have a lot of background noise now. I can hear that. We have a TMR mixer, pig food, our manure mixer. I do want to see if we have any interesting animations on our seed and fertilizer maker. We do indeed. Have some cool animations going on there. Some good animations going on in that one. I do see some smoke here on our stone crusher. And you can see we have some nice animations here on the stone crusher as well. I do want to point out that all of these do have information screens on them, but the information screen is a static image. It does not give us any particular information with respect to the inputs or outputs. It has been approximately 21 hours since we started the production on all of these plants. Let's go ahead and take a look now see where we are as far as our stone crusher goes we have 26,000 27,000 liters of lime we have just about 3,000 liters of stone left seed we have produced 34,686 liters of seed we have completely blown through our liquid fertilizer so production has stopped on that solid fertilizer we are nearly out of manure and we are nearly full of solid fertilizer. It looks like 60,000 liters will fill up that particular output. Manure is still running. We have 20,000 liters of manure. Pig food. We are still generating pig food using the wheat, corn, and potato recipe. But the, sorry, the barley, corn, and potato recipe. But wheat, soybeans, and sugar beets, we have blown through that. We have 325 thousand liters of pig food over the course of one month because we blew through all three of those inputs 
but we are still generating output with the corn, potatoes, and barley. Total mixed ration production, we have 31,000 liters of TMR. We're slowly working through that. Grass dryer has dried 82,000 liters of grass. I believe this had 120,000 liter capacity when it was max full. And for our silage fermenting, well, no surprise, we have blown through the chaff and we are still working slowly through the grass, but we have 108,000 liters of silage as a result of the high production capability in the chaff, and we have 21,000 liters of digestate. So guys, I hope that was useful and helpful. I'm not going to really go through and pull product out of each and every one of these machines. I am sure, knowing Stevie, that it will produce what it says it will produce. Let me know if this is going to become a staple in your mod folder as far as the various production goes on. I think some of it is pretty useful. Some of the recipes maybe could use a little bit of fine tuning for my taste, but to each their own. And until next time, happy farming.